The Hunger Games pre-review. Just trying something a little different. Hey guys, Captain JJB84 here. Uh, The Hunger Games pre-review. Well, I normally do this sometimes, but I don't know. Um, I'm very excited. <laughs> I, I hope the movie's great. I mean, I mean, people are comparing this to Harry Potter and Twilight, which I mean, maybe not Twilight. I mean. Parent to Lord of the Rings, I guess because, you know, female character, two boys. <laughs> um, but the thing that the main difference between this and Twilight is that, well, for one, Hunger Games is good. Twilight was just never good. Um, which, uh, I don't know, I guess. I mean, the movies are never good. I mean, these, this movie already has like 90 on Rotten Tomatoes, which is great. <laughs> Um, I think Twilight was just made solely because they realized, yeah, a lot of 14-year-old girls love this, and they just, <laughs> this will make gazillions, which it has. Uh, you know, I mean, yeah, there's no doubt this movie is going to make a lot of money. I mean, it's like March. Um, what's my dog doing? Ouch. Uh, yeah, the movie is going to make money, so, I don't know what, I keep hearing these things. <laughs> around saying, oh, we're worried about what makes money, I mean, like, well, I guess typecast is a, getting typecast can be pretty bad, I mean, uh, who knows, these actors are still fairly young, typecast maybe, I mean, Daniel Radcliffe, he was in Woman in Black, which wasn't bad, but, who knows, he may get some better films this year, or in the few years to come, but, I just, I just hope the, I just hope the, I just hope the movie's good. I mean, I'm gonna try my hardest just to judge it based on a movie and not a, a movie based on a book, which will be difficult because I've already read the book. Um, I've only read the first book. Uh, I'm just fixing my internet here. I've only read the first book, so. But I, oh shit, what did I do? So I don't know the entire context behind everything. I do know why the Hunger Games sort of came around. So, eh, spider. <laughs> oh, God, I'm arachnophobic, kinda. Anyways, I just hope the movie's really good. And I'm seeing it with uh, Kruna500, who is hopefully reading the book. <laughs> if he sees this video. Um, yeah, he's gonna finish the book, so. We'll probably do a dual review on a Saturday, I guess. Um, but like I said, I just hope the movie's good. Um, there's certain parts I am looking forward to. Uh, I want to see how they do the relationship between Katniss and Peeta towards the end. That was... Uh, I'm a soft spot for stuff like that. <laughs> I have a soft spot for stuff like that. Cause, <laughs> I don't know. Um, I want to see uh, I want to see Woody Harrelson as Haymitch. That'll be interesting, as a drunk. <laughs> um, the other characters here. You know, I heard the things that they are taking out, and you know they have to take those things out just for time reasons, budgetary reasons, and well, other stuff. Um, just making some tea. So yeah, I mean the stuff I've read so far, it sounds like it's good. I mean, let's see what Chris Knight had to say of the National Post. Uh, yeah, everyone knows I like to bring up this guy a lot because I don't really agree with him too much, but I don't know, I haven't seen the movie. He gives it three and a half stars out of four. Says it's really good. <laughs> um, but he also said, there's no small feat as there's a lot of history, society, and exposition to cram into the early going. So, yeah, I mean, the exposition will be, I don't know. See, that's the difference between a book, you can honestly have as much exposition as you want. Okay, not necessarily, I mean. But with a movie, you have to explain that, because the exposition is all explained in her, in her head to the uh, reader. To the reader. Um, yeah, so that's where... Um, that's the thing I remember from uh, the Lord of the Rings books, reading them, is that it's all exposition. Have you ever read Lord of the Rings? It's all exposition. Um, that's why I like Peter, that's why Peter Jackson did such a good job with the movie, is that there's hardly any exposition. 
Okay, there is exposition, but not like all over the place like how the books were. Um, but I just, I just, like I said, I just hope the movie's good. So, uh, and I can tell it's probably is going to be good. I mean, fans are definitely going to see it. It's going to make a lot of money, which is good, because. I like m movies I like. I hope they make money. Um, I'm just realizing, why am I carrying the camera? <laughs> I'm trying to make tea here. Uh, what else am I looking forward to? I'm also looking forward to that one bit. Uh, for anyone who knows the book, spoilers, I guess. Well, you're going to be seeing the movie soon, I think. Uh, the bit where she's in the tree and she just calls down to the other tribute. She's like, hey, what's going on down there? What are you doing? How's it going? Like that, seeing that. I hope that's done <laughs> pretty comically. I also like how the way the book is written. It's almost written like a screenplay. Sometimes, I mean, it's like, I'm gonna turn my head here and look at this. The audience will love that, because, you know, Katniss and all the other tributes are being uh, presented live to the audience. I mean, I think that's where the, sort of the idea for what Collins has said the book came to her. She was watching the news about the Iraqi war and uh, reality TV and just came to her. Oh. As usual, per tradition, I'm eating in my videos. <laughs> but the book is amazing. I mean, I'll probably put it up there with one of my favorite books, probably. I may read it again. I don't know. Um, I'm really into, I really want to start reading the second uh, Catching Fire, and then after that, um, After Catching Fire, Mockingjay. Air Catching Fire is a little slow, but it should be interesting. Mockingjay, I'm really curious about that. Um, I also want to see how they do the ending of the Hunger Games. Because the way the, the book ends like Empire Strikes Back, there's just so many questions unanswered that are going to be answered. So, But, we shall see. I mean, will it join the ranks of Harry Potter and Lord of the Rings, or will it join the ranks of Twilight and Percy Jackson? God. Anyone who knows what I really think of the Percy Jackson movies, the Percy Jackson movie. God, there's a review waiting. It's funny, because I filmed that review years ago, and um, I just never put it up. <laughs> who knows, maybe I'll put it up one day. And a Avatar review. God, I remember that video. Um, but I'm just, I just hope the movie's good. Um, so, I'm going to try my hardest when I do the review with Crooner to um, be as, try to be objective and um, try to just judge it just as a movie. Not, uh, you know, they're not going to be like, oh, they didn't include this, I like this bit. I'll try not to do that. Um, I mean, who knows? Um, I guess that's really all I have to say, so, um, I guess, uh, just tell me what you think, think of the movie's gonna be good, think it's gonna be bad. Right now, it's got like a 90 on Rotten Tomatoes. Here, let me just verify that. Mm, pretty long to this video. Um, you know, I heard somewhere there's gonna be four Hunger Games movies. I'm kinda curious, um... Is Collins gonna write a fourth book? I don't know, probably not. Hey! Dog's growling for some reason. Um, so, we shall see. Anyway, it's Rotten Tomatoes. Just to still say this, my favorite movie of this year is still The Grey. The Grey. That movie was awesome. Great. Liam Neeson was terrific. Hunger Games has, oh, 88%. It went down! No! <laughs> it have a consensus. Oh, consensus. Um, here's a consensus of the Hunger Games on Rotten Tomatoes. Thrilling and superbly acted, the Hunger Games captures the dramatic violence, raw emotion, and ambitious scope of its source novel. Alright, just hoping. 115 fresh reviews, 16 rotten re reviews. In other words, 131 reviews altogether, and the average rating is 7.5 7 out of 10. And my dog is barking. Um, let's see. Well, Richard Corliss didn't like it. I was like, fuck you, Corliss. No, he's a good critic. 
Um, yeah, I just I just hope the movie's good. I mean, uh, I hope it brushes on some of the I hope it goes over some of the themes that are in the not the book. I mean, um, like oppression, <laughs> poverty, almost depression in a way. Um, not mm, depression. No, I have to think about that one. But I just hope the movie's good, like I said, for the gazillion time. I guess that's all I really have to say, so, um, leave your comments on, leave your comments below on what you think the movie will be. Alright, see ya. See you later.